So today the shed guys have arrived to start building the shed uh, I need to go and get some gates um, so we can pen up some Highlanders so we've got a Highlander to take away down to the abattoir along with two fat stores that are along the road So we'll get all that done So we party at house hall this morning Morning Holly! So I'm just in the field of rape at the moment Big break now That's it, wow. is looking fine this morning, having a lie down. Hopefully that's because he's tired and been in action all day. Um, that's his girlfriend for today. She came with a name tag, Ruth. So Ruth and Percy there. So yesterday's question I asked what were these? And they're bands for castrating animals, so cattle, sheep, whatever. There's a wee tool you use to open up and it stretches the band. You put it over the two testicles and then you let off the band and it cuts off the blood supply and the, the testicles then fall off about two weeks later. The pad here for the shed basically just finished finished bang on time. They were just clearing up the last few bits and bobs, um, dressing the edges, finishing off all the footings. And it's looking really good. Pretty happy with it so far. So hopefully the shed shed builders get on get on well as well. And You'll see the steel's going up. It's got a delivery of plow parts um, and a few other bits and bobs. Some spaldings, a few other bits and bobs. Got a boom for the back of the quad bike um, to kind of spray the vert, spray around here, clear up the weeds around the yard. This is one of the orders from spaldings. Um, it's a gas banger, so we need one for. I don't know how well it's going to work with the crows on the sunflowers. Crows are fairly smart and clued on. Might figure it out pretty quick. But we'll use it for the geese anyway. There she is, in all her glory. So I think it's just a case of hooking up the gas, spark plug needs put in, hook up to the battery, and pretty much good to go. Need to put the boom um, on here. It's like a cannon. And there'll be a drop of gas into there, spark plug will ignite, and it'll be a loud bang. It's light sensitive as well, so at night time, it doesn't fire. So we've got the gas banger here, just setting it up. There's quite a few dials on it, four dials. So you can set the delay um, in the morning when it starts. So after the sun comes up, it's got a light sensor. So at the moment, the sun's coming up real early. Don't want to wake everyone up at half five in the morning. So I'll delay it a bit. Um, the interval between the bangs, the number of bangs. And um, so the number of bangs I'll preset to two. So it goes bang, waits a wee bit, it'll go bang again. So the crows or the pigeons jump up into the air in the first bang, they might circle. So the other bang, We'll hopefully then scare them on to the neighbour's fields and the amount of gas you can change so the loudness of the bang. I can see the damp crows are out on the field right now chewing away at some flowers so I'm just hoping this works hopefully the crows are pretty smart animals pigeons are thick as mints but crows crows are smart I think they'll figure it out but if it keeps them off even a week until they figure it out that would make a lot of difference because they'll have a week of growing, they'll be that much bigger. It will get this set up. Ideally, I would have had just a wee 13 kilo bottle, but uh, we have these big ones uh, around the farm for various bits and bobs, but also the 13 kilo ones are really hard to come by at the moment. Um, so that's mainly why. I phoned quite a few places to try and find one, but no progress. Look at the wee bandit. Okay, I'll aim it that way. And that general direction and hopefully these damn crows will clear out. I'm sick of them. Sunflowers are looking well though. They're all come through nice and even. Way more even than the last time. Right, test fire one. Boom. Test fire two. You'll hear it hissing. Hissing. Breakaway cable on the trailer magically disappeared. Um, don't know why. Anyway, I've just made up a new one. Put this on just before we go and put cattle in the trailer. There we go. New breakaway. That's the joiner just arrived to start working on the inside of that shed. So 
I'll need to stop what I'm doing here. I need to go and shift a few bits and bobs for him. Um, so we'll get, I'll deal with these gates and cattle in 20 minutes once I'm finished there. Just dropped off the gates, set them up in there. And then these Highlanders, I'll go and feed them and hopefully we'll get them into there. We just want to take one of them, so we'll get one, I think. Shed builders have got quite a lot of their steel laid out already. Just as well, it was just the one I was needing. That's how loaded up. So, take her along the road, we're getting on our two uh, store cattle. You can see the steel starting to go up. That's one of the uprights, so making progress. Come on. Loaded up, went quite smoothly there, so two in the back there, there'll be limousines or Charlies, and then the Highlander as well. So that's that, we'll get them back, um, get the paperwork sorted out, then I'll take them away down to the abattoir, um, where they'll be slaughtered and they'll come back in kind of a week maybe, just shy of a week, and then they'll hang for another couple of weeks in the butchery at home. Making good progress with the shed, didn't take them long. I've been away about three, three and a half, four hours. So you've got, there's a few guys with a forklift there. They're setting up um, the columns down on the footings, putting them in. And you've got other guys here putting in these kind of reinforcements to join each column, make sure they're bang on in the right direction. So I imagine they'll go right up this line. And that short one over there, that's where the doorway is. So this one here, that's where the roller door is. And this is the man door, that's why there's a wee short pillar in here. But that's them there, getting up with it. These are the purlins that join between the two. There's another delivery of steel, so that's all arrived. Another lorry load, so that's all the lorries of steel here. They've done kind of down here. They're way over the other side to do a few over there. This is about halfway up. Started in the middle where the roller door is. Worked their way down. They're joining between the tops of beams with kind of these, these braces, I don't know what they're called, but they'll be just making sure it's all square as well. But looking good. Crane comes tomorrow to put uh, the, the girders along the top in. Rafters, that's what the roof uh, steel is called. Rafters. Not girders. Not something else I thought they might be. Don't really know the names of all the pieces. Columns and rafters. Question of the day. What are these blue boxes behind me? Trailer's just getting a wash now, it's minging. Spotless, you could eat your dent in there. Well, uh, right, just put the power washer away. That tank needs filled up with water for the next few washes of anything and everything. Just uh, posting the last of the BVD tags, tissue tags from that, the last calf that was born. Um, this will go and get sampled, and then that'll be all the calves from this year sampled and done. Taking shape now, you couldn't really see it, you couldn't really picture it too much with uh, just the pad. And now it's still starting to take shape, it's looking good. So, crane comes tomorrow to start lifting the oh, rafters, rafters into place. So they'll span across from pillar to pillar. So I don't know if they need to finish uh, all the columns along this edge first or whether they join uh, the corresponding 
columns from there to the other side first, I'm not sure. We'll find out tomorrow once the crane comes. Joiners getting on decent in here, just making up panels that'll fold up onto the walls. And um, we just want all these shifted, so put them in the corner and he's gonna work along here, work up that edge, and we'll shift them all back into the corner once these sheets are up. So this is today's progress. Quite a good bit done. So one day of putting up steel and it really kind of starts to take shape tomorrow and I hope to get all the rafters in tomorrow so all the widths that span across the roof. So really the part tomorrow it's it's a big shed. <laughs> 